There are five common ways to measure body fat. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description to an article that I wrote that does a much more detailed comparison of these different methods. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the one that I recommend and the one that I personally use every week because it offers the best combination of time, cost, and accuracy if you're looking to measure your own body fat at home. So we're gonna use calipers to measure three points on the body, the chest, the thigh, and the abdomen. And these points are different for women. So what I'm about to show you applies to men. So before we get started, in this video, I'm using calipers like these. And if you're wondering, yes, you can also use calipers like these. In fact, you can also use a ruler or a tape measure to take those skin fold measurements. The problem with these other two techniques is that they're not going to be as accurate. Your main goal is to repeat the same measurement technique every week so that you can measure the changes in your body fat. But with these calipers, it's difficult to repeat the same method every week because you have to manually squeeze them together. And so one week you press a little bit harder, the next week a little bit lighter, and you lose a lot of accuracy because of that. And the tape measure and ruler are an even more manual process, so you're probably gonna lose even more accuracy with these. So if you can afford it, I highly, highly recommend this style of calipers. These are about $7 online, and these are about 13. But for those six additional dollars, you're getting a tremendous improvement in accuracy. These calipers snap onto the skin fold, and so they remove that human error of pressing too hard or too lightly. But whatever method you use, our process will be the same. So let's measure our three points. Your first measurement point is the chest. And all of these measurements that we're about to take should be taken on the right side of the body. For chest, you're gonna take the halfway point between your nipple and the corner of your armpit. And just imagine that you have this line here, connect those two points and find the middle of that line. Then use your four fingers and thumb to take a diagonal pinch of the layer of fat just above that halfway point. Pinch that line right in half. Then lift that layer of fat up and away from the body, and you can flex that muscle underneath just to make sure you're not pinching any muscle. Then about a half an inch beneath your thumb and pinky finger, pinch the skin with your calipers until they click and lock on the skin. Each tick on the calipers is one millimeter, so go ahead and record that measurement for your chest. Next, move down to your right thigh. Imagine your entire thigh is a big rectangle from left to right and from your knee up to the crease where your leg inserts into your torso. Now find that point directly in the center of that rectangle. Now elevate your leg and bend at the knee so your thigh is in front of you. If you need to lean against something to keep your balance, that's fine. Then use your right hand to grab a vertical skin fold between your four fingers and your thumb, just above that center point that you marked. Pull the skin up and away and pinch the skin fold just beneath the center point you marked until they click and lock on the skin. Record that measurement for your thigh. The third and final point is the abdomen. Find a point about three quarters of an inch directly to the right of your belly button. Use your right hand to grab a vertical skin fold just above that point. Use your calipers to pinch the layer of fat just beneath your pinky and thumb and record that measurement for your abdomen. And that's it. Now repeat that cycle one more time. Measure your chest, your thigh, and your abdomen. And if you get two different numbers for any of the sites, take an average of those two numbers. And that's your measurement for that body part. Now take your measurements for chest, thigh, and abdomen and plug them into the calculator in the description along with your age and weight and click calculate to get your body fat. Do this consistently every week and you'll know if you're gaining or losing muscle or fat. Then you can make those minor adjustments to your nutrition and workouts to get you to your goal as fast as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, drop me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be creating a lot more videos to help you build muscle faster. See you next time.